Hello there, today we go over the book The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Manson. Positive psychology is not the focus of this book, instead it offers a no-nonsense, stoic approach to living a life that may not always be happy, but is always meaningful and centred on what is most important to you. Here are my three key learnings from the book. Learning 1. Only hold values you can control. Throughout Mark's writing and advice, his stoic nature is evident. Stoicism emphasises the importance of concentrating only on what one can control. You can easily understand and apply it to actions, but you can also apply it to more intangible components of your life. For instance, your values. Putting one's values into words can be difficult, but in my experience, if you describe yourself with three adjectives, you'll already have a good sense of what most defines one's life. Assume you choose the words honest, punctual and popular. Mark says something interesting here, only choose values that you can control. Growing up, pursuing a career and trying to make money cause most of us to give up some of our ideals. Even though that's part of living, it's important not to let go of the wheel entirely. Unless you control your values, life will be filled with unnecessary suffering. Regarding the three points we just discussed, honesty is 100% within your control. You are the only one who knows exactly how honest you are. Punctuality is partly within your control. Leaving with plenty of buffer time can allow you to overcome most obstacles. Popularity, however, is beyond your control. Sure, you can be friendly and nice to everyone, but you can't control their opinions. Regardless of what you do, some people will hate you. Accordingly, popularity isn't the best value to focus on, and you can replace it with something more controllable, such as kindness. Learning 2. Certainty hinders growth. This principle can be distilled down to just three words. Certainty hinders growth. Take into account two possible ways of making your way through the world. A belief that everything you know is 100% true and a belief that nothing you know is 100% true. While both are stressful, which would you say would make better decisions for you? Obviously the latter. It may be possible to find some middle ground here, but a good starting point is to reject the notion that you know anything for sure. As a matter of fact, it is true to discover factual knowledge, such as using the scientific method to develop business hypotheses, as well as for gaining conceptual knowledge. Implicit knowledge refers to how various entities interact with each other. Take, for instance, your place in the social hierarchy at school. Whenever you believe you're ugly, you'll be sad a lot. On the other hand, if people compliment you a lot, call you charming and have a crush on you, this is a sign that you're being tricked by your brain. When you allow yourself a little doubt, you can disprove this limiting belief. Learning 3. Don't obsess over leaving a legacy. I'm going to tell you something unpleasant, but important. You're going to die one day. It's inevitable. Whether we admit it or not, we're all scared when the time approaches. It is for this very reason that many of us, myself included, want to leave a legacy. Mark, however, says our precious time here on earth would be ruined if that were to happen. When we're trying to be great, we chase fame, work too much and think about the future. Couldn't we try to be helpful right now? Even though we're here, we can help a lot of people, enjoy our days and be fully present. Mark's philosophy is simple. Don't worry about the legacy part of it. Just enjoy the now for yourself, your family and everyone you meet. Who would I recommend the subtle art of not giving an F to? Anyone who hopes to become a mega successful artist. The 21-year-old software engineer who quits his first job after six months because it's not fun. The 45-year-old fighter pilot who doesn't give a damn about self-help. And the 45-year-old fighter pilot who doesn't care what other people think. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. For a more detailed summary, check out the Blinkist in the description and I'll see you in the next one.